Because you said I was supposed to give you a dollar, right? Yes. All right. We're going to find out. Proverbs 23 and 23. And Proverbs and I want Let's see what the scripture says. Proverbs 23 and 23. For the Lord will plead their cause. That's 23 and 23. Oh, sorry. 23 and 23. Proverbs 23 and 23. Buy the truth and sell it not. Also, wisdom and instruction and understanding. So he said, buy the truth. Okay. You over here asking us for a dollar. Give me the truth. Yes, you have also heard wisdom. Hold on. He said, buy the truth, sister. How do you buy the truth? How With money? You take You're not listening. How can you take You been drinking, sister? Because you're not listening. That's why I asked you that. Sister. No, I mean. We feed you with this right now. We're giving you this. No. This is this is something you should want. Read that up. Isaiah 55 and 1. How every one that thirsteth come ye to the waters. And he that have no money come ye. Buy and eat. Yea, come buy wine and milk without money. Without money, you buy this truth. We're giving you this for free. The Bible is talking about food. The Bible is talking about this food. The Bible is talking about food. And without price. What's the food, sister? You have got your conception. Sister, we're not going to give you a dollar if you don't believe in the Bible. If you don't believe in the Bible, the Most High said don't even deal with those who don't believe in the Scriptures. Do you believe in the law, statutes, and commandments, sister? I believe in Allah's There it is. You just messed up right there. You said Allah. You don't believe in the Bible, sister. Wherefore, do you spend money for that which is not bread, and your labor for that which satisfies not? Hearken diligently unto me, and eat ye that which is good. Right, so Christ gave what to the people? When he fed the 500, do you know those people walk with Christ for three days before he fed them? You just come up here and ask us for a dollar. We got to know if you believe in the scriptures. We're not going to give you a dollar so you go commit a crime. We're not going to do that. If you're if you using crack, we're not going to give you a dollar so you can use more crack. But if you're heeding to the commandments, then we'll give you a dollar. See, there it is. But you just told The Spirit just told on. The Spirit just told on. She probably about to go use some crack. That's why we didn't give her a dollar. Now, she says she believes in the commandments holy. We give you a dollar. If you said that you believe the most high, but you claim it Islam. You claim it Islam, sister. Give me Isaiah 55 and 8. Isaiah 55. Sister, we try to give you love, but you ain't trying to heed the words that we tell you. But you just ask us for a dollar. You ask anybody for a dollar. Is it for drugs? This is Isaiah 55, 8 and 9. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. Most I said, his thoughts are not your thoughts. That's why you came over here saying Allah. You said Allah. That's not his name. Neither you claim him a Muslim doctrine. We, we reading from the Bible. Neither are your ways my ways, said the Lord. He said, your ways are not his ways. Read. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways. Right. So you up here accusing us, cursing us? We speaking according to the doctrine of the scriptures. Eight, give me Isaiah 8 and 20. Wait a minute. Sister, you, this is where we are. I don't know your name, sister. Goodbye. Have a nice day. Goodbye. You're a hellraiser, too. Goodbye. Goodbye. Isaiah 8 and 20. To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. Right. She ain't got no light in them. But we only deal with brothers and sisters who believe in the scriptures and keep the commandments and believe in Christ, not Allah. All right? Uh, to the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to the word. That's what I'm talking about. People come up and sheep clothing, wear clothing. That's why we come up with the scriptures. Read that. The hell with Allah. The hell with Allah. To 
the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. There's no light in these people, man. There's so much darkness on these people. Isaiah 60 and 2. There's so much darkness on our people, man. They don't believe in the scriptures at all. And they expect us to help them. If you don't believe in the scriptures, why should we help you so you can do more wickedness? If you don't continue to do wickedness, what, what are we benefiting for the Lord if you're going out doing more wickedness? 60 and 2. Isaiah 60 and 2. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and the gross darkness the people. Right. The darkness has covered the earth. People are all in false doctrines. Let me come up talking about Islam, but she wanted to die. You got all the other people over here not wanting to get the scriptures. The words according to the most high. And the people are talking about the Israelites. They even got darkness on. Read that again. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall rise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. Right. So our people don't understand. When we're bringing out the scriptures, we're bringing out fear of the Lord. We're bringing out his commandments. We're bringing out uh, warning to them. If they don't get that this is a warning, they don't, they, they don't know that they're going to perish according to the scriptures. Give me Ezekiel 3 and 17. Everything that's taking place around the world has happened because the scriptures has talked about it. The, th the stuff that's going on over there in Iraq, that's going over there in Iran, and Saudi Arabia, that's all pertaining to the scriptures. It's all part of the prophecies. See, the prophecies continue to run until the last days. This is the last days. And what the end result is, is destruction. That's judgment that's coming on the earth. So we out here warning our people, telling them to come back to the Bible. Come out of that Islam. Come out of that Egyptology. Come out of that five percent. Come out of the Catholics and the Christianity and the Baptism. The Israelites didn't call themselves Christians. They knew who they were. Other people called them Christians. They were Israelites from different tribes of the 12 tribes of Israel. That's who they were. Go ahead, Ike. Go next. I mean, Ezekiel 3 and 17. Ezekiel 3 and 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. That's why we come out here. We've been watching what's going on in the world according to the scriptures. And our people are lost, man. Okay? Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. So did the Most High come down and say, Oh God, hey baby. No, he used the servant, Ezekiel. He said, read that again. Therefore, hear the word, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, therefore hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. What are we doing? Warning, we're giving you warning. If we were giving you judgment, everybody would be dead right now. Because we'd be judging y'all based on your on, on your uh, on your actions. Just so far they're coming up to us. According to the laws and statutes and commandments of the Bible. So the most high is not gonna give man that power. He's just gonna give him warning right now. So we out here giving you that uh oh, that uh law right now, the warning law. Telling you to wake up, come out of the wicked ways of America. Tell you to start worshiping all these pagan entities. Alright? Like Christmas and Thanksgiving. Muslim, Islam, all that stuff, man. Come out of it. Come back to the scriptures. That's why we are here. Come back to Christ. Keep the law, statutes, and commandments. Alright? It's the whole purpose of us coming out of here, man. We can tell you that Christ is black all day long, but the real thing is what? Telling our people to keep the law, statutes, and commandments. We can tell you who the Israelites are all day long, but if you're not listening, it ain't going to even make a difference when we give you the law, statutes, and commandments. You got to listen to what the law say. This book is the book of the law, the Bible. This is the law book. Read. When I say to the, unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou give him not warning, nor speakers to warn the wicked from his wicked way. What are we doing? Warning our people. What are we telling them? Stop being homosexual. Stop putting tattoos on their body. Stop smoking weed. That weed is going to kill you. That weed defies your body. Read. 
to save his life, the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but the blood will I require at thy hand. You see, if we don't come out